Hey guys, welcome back. I'm George, this is Santino, and this is our second episode of New Comic Wednesday. Uh, Tino, <laughs> what do we have this week? Some good uh, stuff, huh? Honestly, I, I was really impressed with uh, some of the new stuff that came out this week. I was, uh, I didn't think that the, so I'll start off strong with the uh, Cults of Carnage. Uh, this is my favorite Marvel book that came out this week. Mm -hmm. It's it's introducing like the horror element to the Marvel universe. It's it's got it like it does some, look kind of scary. It's huh? got like a Lovecraft theme. It's uh -huh. like a it feels like a Lovecraft story. It's very good, very like Stephen Kingy kind of like small town horror, and it and it just amps up really hard. At Do the you end. think this is going to lead into that Carnage event? Oh, that they're it, yeah, definitely no, this, right because that's like, going to be the new Marvel like it, yeah. event. This would be the one that if you miss it, it's you're going to be clueless. Like this is this a is really it, good number book. one. Yep, nice, um, sweet. So with uh, other new books that came out, uh, first ones, uh, Faithless. Uh, this one has kind of like Snot Girl vibes. It's uh, oh yeah, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, yeah. It got some social stuff in it, but mm -hmm. also like some. Who serious, publishes that? Uh, Boom Studios. Boom Studios. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, it's got some really weird magic stuff though. Some of the supernatural things. That's uh, fun though. That's cool. Yeah, I it's like that. definitely an adult book. Uh, mm -hmm. Brian Azzarello wrote something that immediately kind of pulls you in to kind of something you don't traditionally see in comics, and the art is just really good to see sometimes it's fun to open up one of these independent yeah. books and you know just really read it and yeah have no, fun with that that's definitely something to pick up i feel like it would be turned into a movie real fast sweet oh those um, are good ones see as for continuing series uh the batman who laughs um i god this is a weird book uh -huh. <laughs> um it's definitely one of the weirdest dc books in a while the interior art is amazing because it's so different than everything weird as far as art or the writing writing i mean it's snyder art. right yeah and it, jock it's it's just a really strange kind of uh take on batman but just as well like it's kind of like some throwback uh it feels like some hard 80s art uh, uh -huh. from, the, from the independent stuff it's oh wow it's not like the like the liefeld and and McFarlane '80s, it's like like the Dark Horse '80s. Oh right, it's really good right. stuff. I love the art. Um, but Scott Snyder is always yeah, such no, a good he's, writer. He's so really understands how to make a good Batman book for sure. Um, we have uh, Belit issue number two from Conan, uh, the like the Conan kind mm -hmm. of offshoots. Um, this is just a really good pirate book. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like I. I feel like uh, a lot of people should pick up some kind of fantasy book of like this mm -hmm. year and Conan like has really been doing good for that. So she's a pretty cool character. Oh my god, right? she's yeah. she's like a pirate queen, uh -huh. but she's like not quite there yet. So it's kind of cool to see her like go up into, okay. into like cool. the adventurer nice. status. Um, taking us a little all over yeah. the place, huh? Yeah. That's cool. That's um, cool. also on the topic of Conan, uh, Avengers Well, that book Nova. has been tremendous. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> This, and they got Conan in the, there, huh? Yeah, yeah, Conan's in this one. Uh, I didn't think that I would enjoy him being part of like a big superhero team, right. but he super changes the dy the dynamic and like because it's I, I thought you know Avengers they're gonna have some of like the main characters of the Avengers, but of course, uh, like the Hulk takes a backseat to some of it, but mm -hmm. it's like they choose some of Marvel's like I would say like B listers a little bit, but it's so much better because of that. Nice, because it's not the same. Avenger stuff over and over again. It's uh -huh. got it's got heart in it, and it's I'm constantly impressed with no no road home. <laughs> yeah, last time you were last week, you're all over it. So yeah, no, no this this week There's I was just that like, one sweet. It's awesome. Um, let's see, the Red Hood Outlaw number thirty three. Um, just a a free and beautiful co variant cover. Um, it's it goes more into uh, the uh, the crime aspect of like what's going on in Gotham and everything. Mm -hmm. and it starts off. It's how do I describe it? With jeez, that is a tremendous. Color. Yeah, it's it has some. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to say American Psycho vibes, but like the way that uh, the way that the Red Hood is acting, like as a as a gang boss, it's uh -huh. like he's he's really theatrical. In the way he's <laughs> That's acting. good. It's, it's really cool. That's good. DC came out with some great covers this oh, week. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean. Here's one. That is oh, yeah, sweet. The, uh, Hawkman or? Yeah, this one is, they're, they're doing really good with their full art covers. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm loving every single week seeing them. Every single one is like a, a wall poster that you just have to have. Right, who did uh, the cover on that one? 
Uh, was it? I, I, I have trouble <laughs> pronouncing his name. Tedesco. Tedesco. Oh yeah, that's it. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Big it's really long Italian God. names. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really it is cool, Tedesco. Though. Sweet. Um, then we have uh, the uh, symbiote Spider-Man Gwen variants. Uh, it's just really pretty. I like how they emphasize like a lot of the colors. The for colors when it comes, for sure. When it comes to Gwen, they kind of like hyper saturated colors, like especially with like purples and greens mm -hmm. uh, being. And, the and there are different um, variant covers for this one yes. for this issue. Yeah, we'll uh, have them here at we the also shop. Have, uh, the Venom Cult of Carnage variants. Uh, the Batman Who Laughs full art variant, which is just spectacular. Good. Uh, like Joker colors, you know, mm -hmm. green and green and purple. It's right. funny because it's like just like <laughs> Gwen Stacy, yeah. different different mood. That's true. Um, yep. DC did yeah. tremendous job on these. Yeah, our the, germ over here. Our germ and the Wonder Woman. It's just stuff that you would love to collect. Like if you're a variant collector, uh, I mean, a lot of our customers are. I, I a lot of a lot of variants. I mean, that's what we usually, pick up the books. Yeah, you look the, at the cover, like wow, this one pops. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's cool. That's pretty much like so what that's I recommended it. for this week. All right, man. Awesome. We definitely appreciate that. There you have it, guys. This week, um, come on down to the shop. We'll have these on the shelf. And uh, for you guys, oh, let's talk about. Um, we want to get into those boxes. We just received the free comic book day. That's oh, yeah. coming up May fourth, guys. Yeah. Saturday will be. We'll start at eleven o'clock. Go on till four. Mm -hmm. But we did get the boxes, so maybe next week we can pop some open. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. Give like them a little sneak, sneak peek. Yeah. yeah. All cool. right. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. All right. Where Thanks you are. For watching. We appreciate you guys. We're signing out. See you soon.